Well, this is a month for showing our gratitude. And one of the places many people are grateful for is Primary Children's Hospital. Later on this month, we will be holding the annual KSL Giveathon to raise money for the hospital. All month long, we'll be featuring stories about many different children who have spent time there. Today, Carol Makita introduces us to the Bliley family and their favorite nurse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bliley is a lively, happy five-year-old, but every day of his life, his parents say, is a gift. He goes through things that I couldn't even imagine going through, and, and he handles it with such a grace. When he was just two and a half months old, Jace and Riley experienced several anxious days at Primary Children's Hospital, and then came the shocking diagnosis. He had a whole mess of things affecting pretty much his whole body, from his brain to pancreas, liver. I mean, just because of that process isn't working right. Like 70 to 80 percent of the kids that they know about with the diagnosis don't make it past one. So she was devastated. I was devastated. Emmett has glycosylation, a rare genetic disorder. There are only about 1,200 cases in the world, 200 in the U.S., and only Emmett in Utah. And there was a really big learning curve for us but also for our doctors right. trying to take care of us and, and trying to give us answers. We had so many questions and, you know, very, very few answers. They say they have lost count of how many times doctors and nurses at Primary Children's saved Emmett's life. He cannot walk or speak and needs a feeding tube. Everyone who meets him feels his enthusiasm for life. He has uh, lit up the room since he was a baby. He is affectionate. He wants to be with people. He's very, very social. Jamie Seal is Emmett's nurse, caring for him since he was a year old. We like to make sure that the children have the best quality of life that they can, that they really can experience the joy and the happiness um, that all children really should have. A palliative care team meets the needs of the child with an unknown life expectancy and his or her family. This group includes doctors, nurses, child life specialists, social workers, and a chaplain. And so we have to support those families, those parents, because they are the voice of their children, and they are the ones who have to make these incredibly difficult decisions, and we don't want them to have to do it alone. And during COVID and isolation, the PCH team was there for the Blyleys. They have that saying that not all heroes wear capes, and I totally believe that, being in the hospital at Primary Children's. And they're the ones that are, like, there to kind of to pick your pieces up, because you can't do it yourself, you know, and, and so they... They literally are a second family. Emmett is thriving, they say. There's something about him that people are just like, he sees into my soul, <laughs> you know? Like, right. He looks at you and you know that like he can't talk to you, but he understands you. And They credit the remarkable medical team and the care that he receives from the hearts of primary children's professionals. So we want to focus on that whole family and that whole child. We want to make sure that they have as much joy as possible. Yay, Emmett! Joy is the word his nurse and his parents use to describe Emmett. It is, they say, what they want for him and what he brings to the world. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News. What a sweetheart. Carol, thank you. Give-a-thon is November 30th, but you can start donating right now on kslkids.com.